Welcome to lesson four of what does it take to become a great boogie player. And I think in this lesson we need to get down to the basics of the trill because the trill is a very, very important aspect of boogie woogie improvisation and you can use it kind of when you can't think of a note to play, which is often a problem for beginners, what notes do I play when I'm making up boogie, just kind of adding in a little trill kind of, kind of gives your mind a little place to think. So, you know, you're saying, oh, what do I play? Well, if you don't know, come over here, camera person. So let's say, for example, the right hand. Let's say you're playing a boogie woogie, or you're just making something up. So let's just make something up, you know. Very simple boogie. If you don't know what to play next, just do a trill. If you still don't know what to play, keep doing the trill. If you still don't know what to play, trill. wanted to push it, you could do a whole boogie woogie where you're just trilling all the way through, you know? Obviously that would be a little bit over the top, but doing a trill, and there are two kinds of trills really, you can do the trill on the third and the fifth, and you can fatten that out by just turning it into a chord. We're in the key of C here obviously, you're just turning it into a chord, and I'm just doing... All I'm doing is that I'm just playing that, 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 but I'm speeding it up a bit. And you do have to practice it because it's a little bit tricky if you're not familiar with it. And if I go up to the four chord, just change that to an E flat. Like all I'm doing is basically that's all I'm doing, a bit loosening it up a bit, loosening it up slightly. I'm not playing it as dogmatic as that, but I'm, that's essentially what it is. But I'm just loosening it a bit. Yeah, you do have to practice it if you're not familiar with it. Yeah. We can just do the. And of course, when you're playing blues piano. Person, where are you going? Come back here. When you're playing blues piano, you would play the trill on the fifth and the flat and seventh. That's kind of like a blues trill. That makes it more bluesy, bluesy boogie. are an important aspect of your boogie woogie improvisation skills and again it's a great way of kind of covering over something if you can't really think of anything to play just put in a trill obviously with all these tricks and techniques there's a danger of overdoing it so use the trills in moderation but some people do have technical problems actually doing that so you might just want to do it i'll leave you with this final exercise just come over here very quickly camera person to the right hand just practice this first of all just do do the straight trill like that you can do it with whatever fingering you want that you're comfortable with so just do that's the basic one and then just add it in to make a bigger one you can see what i'm doing so i'm just doing that and then I'm fattening it out and in the four chord it would be if I wanted to fatten it I would go see I'm just going from that to again and it does actually get your right hand working. It's quite difficult to do that. For, if you practice that for three minutes, your, your right hand will start aching. So practice the trills. They're really an essential component. And if you look down on the playlist, I've done a whole playlist on trills down at right at the bottom of the, the YouTube page. Look for Boogie Woogie Trills and I go through them in detail. But your trills are an important aspect of how to be a great Boogie Woogie player. And also, I want to give a shout out to Terry Miles, the Boogie Woogie Emperor of Hackney, who's up in Wales, I think, at the moment. All right, Terry, make sure you check out his channel also for some great 
Boogie Woogie Tutorials. We did a fantastic video out in Heathrow. If you type into um, YouTube Boogie Woogie Sandwich, you'll see Terry there. So check out Terry Miles' channel. Great Boogie Woogie information there, the Boogie Woogie Emperor of Hackney, so that you can get some also some other tricks and tips. And make sure also while you're at it, you check out the Badass Boogie store, www badassboogie.com where you can download all the Boogie Woogie sheet music to these lessons uh, in the PDF download and all the other cool Boogie Woogie sheet music stuff that you need to help you on your journey to Boogie Woogie excellence. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Well said camera person. Thank you.